Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is another episode of the world famous, the University of Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves, and we are coming to you live today. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Friday, March the 22nd, 2024. For some reason, I was thinking April, but it ain't April quite yet, okay? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, do you have any big plans this weekend? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you something right now. I have big old plans, big old plans with the with the smallest person in the group, my two-and-a-half-year-old daughter. Uh, me and her are going to hang out this weekend. My wife is going out of town for a friend's birthday. Happy birthday, Amanda. Amanda will be turning 40 this year, everybody. All my wife's friends are turning 40 this year. So, uh, you know, turning 40 is is an all right experience. Okay, everybody. So, everybody, whenever you turn 40, don't think that all your hair is going to fall out and, uh, you know, you, your hip is going to start hurting. That stuff don't happen until you're at least 43. Okay? <laughs> Uh, when you're 43, you start feeling aches and pains, and I, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. You're only as young as you feel. But every now and then, every now and then, I will tell you something. Every now and then, there there are days when I feel there are days there are some days when I still feel like a 21 year old living in San Diego, California, being in the Navy. I'm young. I'm spry, and there are some days. I feel 27, okay? You take that how you want to. No, but sometimes, I remember one day, it was a few months ago, I think I slept wrong, and my neck was hurting the rest of the, my, I woke up the next day, my neck was in pain, and I said, I don't even know where I'm at right now. I'm like, is this going to be the normal? I was like, please, God, let's not, let's not make this the normal. I don't want to sleep on my shoulder and my shoulder be hurting for three days. I don't want to sleep wrong and my neck be hurting for three days. I do not want to start having these little minor aches and pains for no uncertain reason. Okay. I do not want that. And so, you know, I try to work out. I do my yoga. I do my stretching, do my jump rope, you know, and um, I got a routine. I wake up in the morning. I stretch. Let's see. First thing in the morning, I wake up, I stretch, I do my little morning routine, I do a little reading, and you know what else? You know what else? I have added to my routine. I have added. I have added Magic Mind. Magic Mind is a great product to add to your morning routine because it will help you be more and more productive throughout the day. It will help you. It has something called mocktail in there okay and it's a caffeine and it helps you it helps you it helps keep you going get you going keep you going and uh magic mind has not only helped you be more productive magic mind has also helped me when it comes to my memory because as i told you before I talked about my daughter we're gonna be hanging out all weekend when i first had my daughter the memory my memory sometimes was fuzzy i used to remember things I used to have the, the the memory of an elephant, okay? I can remember uh, after I had my daughter, not so much. I started taking Magic Mind. It only it not only has helped me be more productive, because as you see, by all the podcasts we have been recording for the last couple months, I've been spitting them out. I've been more productive, uh, more focused, more alert, and uh, Magic Mind has definitely helped me do that. And if you want to be a great friend and use magic mind like i have go to magicmind.com slash marketing moves and use the promo code marketing moves 20 and um it will definitely be worth the money that you spend magic mind is a great product they have a great service who would ever think you know because i'm not a i am not a i am not a doctor and I, I, you know, I, I listen to these programs, like how I built this, you know, and one day I hope, and one day I hope that Magic Mind is uh, featured on how I built this, because that would be, that, that's a great story. Because what makes you come up with, hey, I want, I want 
I mean, I know the story of Magic Mind, but I want you to go to magicmind.com slash marketing moves and read it for yourself. But what makes people say, okay, I want, I, I need this. I need that. I'm going to come up with this and I'm going to share it with the world. You know, you owe, you owe it. You, you do have a responsibility in all, all of us, all of us have the responsibility. If you, if you learn something and you know something and, and you can, and you can share it with other people, you have the responsibility to share it with other people. So I appreciate Magic Mind. I appreciate them, you know, greatly for helping me out because it definitely has helped me be more productive. It has definitely helped me with with the brain, with the fogginess. Sometimes I was feeling after I had my daughter. So if you want to use Magic Mind, please go to magicmind.com slash marketing moves. Use the promo code marketing moves 20 and uh, they will give you a discount. And uh, I highly recommend it. And like I told you before, you know, now that we are on YouTube, you will hear you will hear this often if you go to, to the YouTube channel. I leave the link in every day. I will leave the link in for the remainder of the month because um, I greatly appreciate Magic Mind. I like using it. I enjoy it. It's part of my morning routine along with my stretching and my yoga, and my jump rope. I have Magic Mind right there in the, in the refrigerator. So if you want to, you, one more time, if you want to use Magic Mind, go to magicmind.com slash marketing moves. Use promo code marketing moves 20. Magic Mind is great, and thank you. And now, we will get into the heart of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about something very important. <laughs> we are going to talk about... Eh. We are going to talk about people that are on your email list, and, and they are... Eh. They're not hot, and they're not cold. They're just kind of like... Eh. They just sort of hang around your email list and hang around your email list. And there's not really a lot going on with them. They don't really open. They don't open your emails. They don't, you know, they do nothing. And so I will give you a story about a date I went on a long time ago when I was in the Navy. A lot of things happened in the Navy. Um, and don't tell my wife. And I'm only kidding. This this was a one. This was a one off. OK, this is the this was a. This was the first time, last time date, you know, but I think about this. I think about I don't think about the young lady. I think about the date because the date it was one of the it was one of the most. It wasn't good and it wasn't bad. It was the most eh date I've ever been on. OK, and it's very it's very. It, it would be, it'd be very helpful when it comes to this episode, okay? Because I met this young lady on the train. I met the, I met her on the trolley in San Diego. Shout out to the San Diego trolley, the blue line, the orange line. You know, my people. But I remember I met this girl, and it was very brief because I saw her. And I said, "Excuse me." I said, "I think you're very attractive," or whatever I said. I'd like to get your phone number. And she said, okay. And that was it. I got a response. I got an okay. She wrote a number down and she's like, I, I got to get off. And I was like, I'll call you. And she said, okay. And I should have known. Uh, foreshadowing. I should have known what was coming when it comes to this date. And I remember I, I, I walked because on the boat, on the boat, you have to walk off the boat and you have to say, uh, and uh, you, we're gonna we're gonna have fun with this episode, but you walk off the boat, and even in your civilian clothes, you have to say permission to go aboard, and they say permission granted, and they give you a little salute, and uh, you have to you you turn to them and you show your I like your ID card if if, if I can remember, you show your ID card and then, and then you turn around and you put your heart on over over your chest, and uh, you know the flag is the flag is hanging. Then you walk off, and so I had, I did that, and I walk off, and you and you hook a left, and this is the boat I was on. You hook a left, and then you go, you walk down, and there were, and there were, and there were. I'm gonna blow your mind, and there were like six pay phones, and this is back in the day. This is back in the '90s. The pay phone, everybody. The pay phone was a beautiful thing. I miss you, pay phone. I'm only kidding. Um, this was this this is before they got us all addicted to this, this phones, you know. 
the the phone was a tool it wasn't a life you know what I'm, you know what i mean you understand what i'm saying you feel me and um when the when the phone was a tool not a life you had to carry around in your pocket and people track you down all the time but anyway so i got on the phone and i called this young lady and i remember you know and whenever you are this this we talked about this before but whenever you are when you first meet somebody you are selling yourself and if you don't believe me man listen don't be don't be don't be dumb don't be naive whenever you meet somebody it doesn't matter you're in business friendship whatever you are selling yourself okay some of us do a great job of it some of us do not it just depends you know some of us do great in business some of us don't don't do so great in your personal life some of you great great at selling yourself in your personal life not so great in business that's okay we're here to help you with all of that okay now i got to the pay phone and whenever i whenever i get on the phone i'm still this way to this day the phone is like for me it's like you you, you feel like because I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't much for the, being on the phone. And so when I when I do get on the phone, I try to get animated because I know you have to, you know, it's born. It's very born because you are basically like like right now. You know, you listen you're listening to me talk. This is like a radio. This is like a phone conversation. And so I I I my job is to entertain you, to inform you, to enlighten you, to motivate you you know my, that, that's that's the job of this show so this this is what we're doing and so when i got on the phone with the young lady i put in my quarter because back then it was a quarter probably california probably was 50 cent but anyway <laughs> california be trying to tax you but anyway i got on the phone i remember she answered the phone you know hello and i say uh hello i don't know if you remember me or not but i met you a couple of days ago you know, I, I met you on the trial and she said, I remember you, blah, 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 blah. And I said, oh, good, good, good. You know, it's like, well, that's that's step one. First step is she remember the kid. So I got to talking and I'm working and I'm blah, 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 blah. And, you know, hey, I mean, you know, I'm in the Navy and you know, I'm from Missouri. And you know, I just been, been out here a couple, couple few months, blah, blah, blah. You know, man, you know, you, you look good, blah, blah, blah. I like to go out with you, blah, blah, blah. And I noticed something. Normally, people on the phone is just like when you it's just like when you're selling something, and you and and sometimes you 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 want to be you want to be mindful of this. This is this is this is something for me and you. Whenever you're talking, because you don't want to waste your breath, okay? You always you always want to take a breath, okay? I didn't I didn't take not one breath. I remember this to this day. I did not take one breath when I was talking out because the girl wasn't saying that. So I didn't know, if, you know, I thought maybe, she, you know, I was like, I got to, I'm, I'm doing a, I'm doing a hard pitch. Okay. I was, I was selling. I'm doing a hard pitch and uh, I'm just talking. I'm just bumping my gums and I'm like, Hey, you there? And she's like, yeah, I'm listening. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, so, you know, and I wanted to wrap it up. It had been like 10 minutes. And I wanted to wrap it up. And I said, hey, uh, you know, you doing anything Saturday, Saturday night? And she's like, no. And I'm like, hey, you want to go out? And she's like, sure. And I'm like, hey, where you want to meet at? You want to meet where uh, you live uh, over the whoop de you know, I, I can't remember all the train stations. But um, I was living on 32nd Street in the Navy. So I don't know. I forget the. I was living in, it, it, technically, it was called National City, you know, but it's southern San Diego. And she, I think she lived more kind of north. And I was like, I can meet you uh, at the train spot that we, we that we met at, you know. And she was like, okay, that works. And I was like, cool. And I, well, we can go out to eat. And she's like, yes. And I was like, okay. And so, you know, there was ten minutes, and uh, ten minutes of me spitballing, hard selling. And I was like, this girl didn't say a whole lot. And normally, normally, when you get a phone number, back in them days. You could either tell they either really liked you and it, nothing was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, with this girl, I was like, I ain't really getting no vibe or nothing like Now you probably would say vibe, but at the time, whatever you want to say, whatever the lingo was at the time, I probably said it, but I was like, you know, I ain't really, I don't know. You know I don't know if she like me. She don't like me. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on, you know? And so 
I met her and we went to the big we went to this, this fancy restaurant. I don't know if you ever heard of this place or not. It's called Denny's. Okay. Fancy place. Let me tell you something. Wining and dining, baby. But we went to Denny's. Again, we hugged. I said, hey, it's good to see you again. I said, I'm, I'm happy to be on a date with you, you know? And she's like, <laughs> and I said, oh, Lord, what is that? And, you know, at this time in my life, you 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 you, you spend a lot of time, when, you, when you're young, you spend a lot of time evaluating every, every, everything is an evaluation. Your job, who you're dating, who you're seeing, what you're wearing, everything is like, whole evaluation let me tell you something speaking of being 40 something the the greatest thing about being 40 something is man after a while you're like i don't i don't care man you 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 kind of you you no you don't care you know i love my wife to death i love my wife i love my wife every now and then we'll say something to each other and she says man i don't hair and i'm like i'm right there with you i don't care what you're saying right now i'm gonna do what i want to do and she'll say the same thing and that's okay i appreciate that i love that about her i love that we're in that space in our lives where we can just be like man listen you're gonna get annoyed but i don't really care you know and my wife would say something she's like and i you know like my wife doesn't like when i imitate her voice and she'll say and i go I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care. I don't care. But back then, you know, it's, you, so you, 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 back then, you know, everything is like, you know, and I'm like, that response, that, yeah, I was like, oh, Lord. This is, and that, at the time, if I didn't, if I knew, I didn't know anything about marketing at that point. But if I didn't know, then I said, this is, this is one lukewarm, this is one lukewarm sweetie pie, okay? This girl is, this girl is, ah, she is not give. she is not, she is not loving Tony D, and she is not hating Tony D. She is blah, okay. And as I said, as I told you once, I told you twice. Even Jesus did not enjoy the lukewarm. Jesus said, "Hey, if you're gonna be a believer, be a believer. If you ain't gonna be a believer, don't be a believer." What he don't want, he don't want them half. He don't want no half stepping Christians, okay? No, he does not. You know so. Jesus, what Jesus don't want, he don't want you going to church on Sundays, and then you're cursing out your mouth the rest six days of the week. That means you just you're kind of warm. You're lukewarm. You okay? He wants you in there every he wants you in there every Sunday. He wants you praying every every night, you know. Uh, or don't pray at all, you know. We don't want no lukewarm. And I was on a I was on a very, very, very lukewarm date. And there was nothing. I had no skills. I had no ammunition. I had nothing, nothing at the time, the ability to get this girl off the lukewarm train. I, you either got to, you either going to turn them up, or turn them off. Lukewarm is the kiss of death. Lukewarm is not where you want to be. And that date was very lukewarm. And I remember, I said, uh, you know, I was talking some more and I was like, you know, hey, do you like me? And I, she said, eh. and I said, and she gave a very lukewarm response. And before, you know, I had been on dates, you know, and they was like, oh my God, this is so great. And some of them, it was like, man, this sucks. You know, this, this shit, they were like, ain't, ain't gonna be no date too, bucko. And I'm like, fine with me sweetie pie okay but this one was the worst because it was it was it was nothing there was eh, it was the i can take you i can leave you kind of response and when you, when it comes to marketing you don't want that you when it comes to your email list you don't want that you don't want sign up for the email list and you don't read none of the emails you don't want Sign up to the email list and you don't buy one product. You don't want, and then they they won't unsubscribe. You don't want that. So what can, so what can you do about that, ladies and gentlemen? I will tell you what you can do about that, ladies and gents. You can. This is this is what I recommend because it it will it will it will it will get the people going 
you you if you have somebody on your email list and you want them to remove themselves you write you send out a bunch of emails i mean back to back you know like i i remember once i wrote these it was it was was, my email list was it was it was eh, it was okay but it wasn't you know and i was like i gotta get i gotta remove some people i gotta get some i gotta shake the tree a little bit and so it was one saturday i wrote eight emails and i sent sent them out every three hours (laughs) so every three hours you you got an email from me on a saturday and i remember it was uh a few people unsubscribed i said good good get out of here and uh one lady wrote me and said can you please stop sending me so many emails and i said there's two options open them or unsubscribe that's it ain't no more options i'm gonna send more and then i say you know what because i am i am very um hard-headed i say you know what saturday i sent eight emails sunday i'm sending six more okay and i sent six more and we got some more people (laughs) we got some more people unsubscribed and we got and we had we got we got some people added to the list in the next week or so but I was happy to get the people that wasn't reading the emails to begin with off my email list. And you want, and that's what you're looking for. You don't want people just hanging around to be hanging around. If they open the emails, that's fine. But you don't want the people who are just never opening the emails. What is the point of you being, what is the point of you even being around? You don't want, you, you, you want, it's like if you hire somebody and they're not giving you great work, they just giving you. Uh, it's like, why am I even paying you? What what's going on? You do not want to be. You do not want to get mid level. You don't want to pay people to get average work. Okay, you do not want to pay. It's just like if you go to if you ever go to Upwork, you ever go to Fiverr, you know, you need something done for your website, you need something done for your, you know, for for whatever, for an ebook or anything like that. You don't want average. You want your product, your service, you, you if you if you expect above if you expect great, greater, greatest, excellent, whatever adjective you want to use, if you want that for your customers. And for your business, then you don't want to work with people who are going to give you average. And you don't want average in your personal life. You don't want average in your business life. You don't want the that. And that is and that is something that and that is something. And, and that's the reason why I tell that story is because that is the worst. Because it's no, it's not, I, it's not a man. I you know call me tomorrow. Call me when you get home. It's Eh, call if you call if you want to. Yeah, yeah. It's like what is what is what the what is that? What's that? Call if you want to. I mean, I think that was the I think that was the response. And so you do not want to get the you know if you if you if you're trying to sell a product and you and you're just and you and you're selling and you're talking and you and you, and you get a I don't know maybe. You you want to you want to figure out what you can you want to figure out things that you can say to combat the maybe I don't know what do you what do you not know you everybody knows what they want people like to act confused you know you know if you like somebody you know if you don't like somebody you know if you want to buy a product you know if you know if you can't afford to buy the product you know if you you know what you know. If you want to go on a trip, go on a trip. If you don't want to go on a trip, don't go on a trip. The eh, vacation. Nobody does that. Nobody does that when it comes to vacation. You either want to go on vacation or you don't want to go on vacation. Okay. And so, ladies and gentlemen, there are there are there are tools for you to get people. You know, if you have if you have to say something, you know one 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 thing that you can do. And 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 I, and 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 be, I'm be perfectly honest with you. One thing that you can do is you can just be yourself. Do not try to be 
Do not try to say things. Now, listen, we all know there's language that none of us should use, but we all have beliefs. And if you there's something that you believe, then and, and you incorporate that into your work, into your product, into your service, into your business, that's perfectly fine. It's just like if you listen to this program, yes, yes, you, you're going to hear me talk about the love I have for for the Lord Jesus Christ. That's just it's not a big deal. You, you, if you don't believe, I don't care, you know, that. But if you listen to this show, then you're going to hear that every now and then. At the, at the end of the show, I say God bless. So for me, I'm not. You know, if somebody if somebody sends me a message, which I'm sure they will eventually, and they go, why do you say God bless? Because I believe in God. And if you don't believe in God, then I don't know what to tell you. Don't listen to the show. It's 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 it's, it's things like that. You know, don't try to be sanitized, trying to be sanitized, trying to be um, trying to be in the middle of the road. Is what gets you more. It, it, it will get you more tepid, lukewarm responses to your content, to your business, to, to everything. You know, and I'm not saying you have to. You know, do you have to be? Um, do you have to be a politician and pretend like you're uh, a Christian just so you can get votes? No, you don't have to. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that like most politicians. Because if if you have a, especially if you live in America. And and you have uh, half a brain, you know all these politicians. It's like wrestling. They they all they all working together. It's all a it's all a hustle, you know. They all they all believe in uh getting money and whatnot, you know. <laughs> but anyway, that's a whole another story for a whole another day. But for you to avoid the lukewarm response, don't try to be so you know. Don't try to be so mid, you know. And uh, in your email, you know, write write what you write what you know, write what you believe in. You know, um, sometimes you got to shake up the tree. Sometimes, you you know, and, and it's, hey, you know, it's like, uh, it's like I always say, if you're not, you want to say something, you know, you don't want to be the person who says nothing because then you get more and more luke, lukewarm responses. You know, you get more and more people who just hang around and hanging around to be hanging around and you don't want that. Hanging around to be hanging around is a kiss of death, you know. If you got a bunch of people walking into your store and walking out your store and not buying nothing, uh, you got problems. If you got a bunch, if you got a bunch of people inside the store buying stuff, and you got a bunch of people hanging around with picket signs like "Don't buy from this store," then you're doing you're doing the right thing. It's just like Apple. You love Apple, you hate Apple. There's not many people who are like eh, Apple. Eh, take them or leave them, you know. And that's what you want in your content. That's what you want in your business. That's what you want in your life. You know, you don't want to hang around people. And you, they're like, eh, he's okay. Why are you hanging around him? Eh, I don't know. Just just to be killing time. Eh, you don't want that, you know? You want hot. You want cold. You want to avoid the lukewarm. And I know we talked about this before, and we're going to talk about this again, because, you know, to uh, really build uh, to really build a customer base, to really build uh, build out your content, to really build out your, the, the pipeline of life, you know, to have people lined up at the door. You can't have a bunch of lukewarm people, because lukewarm people don't buy nothing, okay? All they do is hang around. So to avoid that, and to get you, I'm trying to get you farther down the road than uh, most people, okay? And so to avoid that, get those lukewarm people out of there. Either turn them on or turn them off, but get them out of there, all right? And uh, shout out to that young lady. <laughs> shout out to that young lady uh, who we went on the greatest date ever. Only kidding. But it makes for great material. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, that is it. That is all we have for today. My name is Tony Rizzano. We'll be back on Monday with the all-new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, God bless. Check out the YouTube channel. Check out Magic Mind. Go to the uh, spread shop, buy a t-shirt, Action Speaks Loudest. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for an awesome week. We will be back on Monday. But until then, peace.